In this tutorial, we're taking a look at a new addition to the Computer Music Suite. Beat Slammer from Baby Audio is a new beats and drum focused compression plugin based on their iHeart New York 2 processor. It's a bit simpler but still retains the parallel processing and underlying engine of the Source plugin and has been optimized for drum processing. Beat Slammer is very easy to use and you can, if you like, simply drag the cursor around the XY pad until you get the result you want. Even so, having an understanding of what the display is showing you will help you get better results. The X axis controls the processing amount, 0 to 100%, and the Y axis the processing wet dry mix, 0 to 100%. If you move the cursor to the top right corner, you'll get the maximum deepest effect, and to the bottom left corner, no effect at all. Double click the cursor to return to the central default point, which is 50 50. Beat Slammer is designed as a parallel compressor so you can go for a more extreme effect but then dial back the mix to taste. Here we've set the amount quite high, 90%, and then brought the blend right back down to about 40% for a more moderate effect. The animated background of the XY pad display shows levels. Try turning up the output level and you'll see that at very high levels the circle is brighter. The circle display also indicates gain reduction and this appears as dynamic white circles. As the game reduction increases, the circles get smaller and nearer the middle. It's also important to say that this measures the overall game reduction and is thus influenced by the mix blend. As its name implies, Beat Slammer is designed to add control and flavour to beats and drums, using parallel processing to achieve the ideal balance. Let's start with a vintage snare, the 808. Much as we love this papery sounding classic, it can lack punch and presence and sometimes needs a helping hand to cut through the mix. Beat Slammer is ideal for this. Starting with wet dry mix at maximum, that's at the top, slide from the left to right to gradually increase the processing. We've set our amount to about 85% and this really brings out the snare sound in the tail and makes the attack more punchy. Beat Slammer's auto gain makeup has increased the level considerably so we've also cut the output gain to compensate. Before we move on to another sound, let's also look at the auto gain makeup control. This smart control actually employs an algorithmic approach that attempts to match the wet and dry signals. In practice, it feels like you're adjusting how aggressive the gain makeup is. Kicks can benefit from compression, but behave quite differently to snares. Parallel compression provides a great way to create harmonics and add presence to 808 kicks. Here we've set the amount quite high to about 94% to create a buzzy distorted effect, and then use the parallel mix setting to blend it to taste. Beat Slammer is also great for treating ambiences and room sounds, particularly those that come with live drum kits. Let's start with the room mics. Our sound is a medium room and the kit is quite dull sounding with low mid frequency muddiness. Even so, we can modify this using Beat Slammer. With the amount at about 70% and mix blend at 60%, the kick and snare have more presence, and the kit sounds more balanced. For the overheads, as is often the case, the sound is dominated by the kick and snare. However, by using Beat Slammer we can rework this slightly and bring up the background room sound. Here we've gone for quite modest settings. Wet is set to about 63% and amount to about 65%, but this is enough to even out the sound. 